The Israeli military is releasing footage which they claim shows hostages being taken into Gaza's largest hospital after that deadly Hamas attack of October 7th. Uh, this is you take a live look at a separate hospital in Khan Yunis. But we're referring to CCTV footage appearing to have been filmed on the morning that Hamas gunmen began storming southern Israel, killing more than 1,000 people, mostly civilians, kidnapping some 240 others, according to Israeli officials. Our Jerusalem correspondent Daniel Cohen joins us now live from Tel Aviv. Daniel? Good morning, Sean. Good morning, Emma. Can we back up for just a second? The video that you were just showing, it is International Children's Day, and the uncle of the youngest hostage is a nine-month-old baby who's uh, spending his time here at Hostage Square in Tel Aviv. And in fact, I don't know if you guys know this, but there was a baby born in captivity last week. So that nine-month-old baby that can't process milk that's on formula, wondering parents and, and family about if it's having his diaper changed or not, is no longer the youngest. Can you just put yourself in that situation of being a woman, giving birth, in captivity, a hostage in Gaza by Hamas? Now set that aside for just a moment. Senior U.S. and Israeli officials and the Qatari prime minister suggested a hostage deal was close Sunday. Now, how close? We don't know. The agreement reportedly includes uh, an unspecified number of Israeli captives, beginning with women and children, in exchange for a pause in Israel's onslaught of the terrorists and more aid into Gaza. Meantime, that footage you were talking about, Israel is unveiling the long-awaited footage of Hamas terror tunnels underneath Al-Shifa Hospital, the largest medical facility in Gaza. In surveillance video Sunday, a hostage is forcefully, take a look at this, dragged into the hospital to the surprise of medical staff. The man in scrubs there in blue just throws his arms up at, at one point. Uh, it's clearly against that man's will. One of the men frog marching the hostage in appears to be wearing an assault rifle. Now, in this video, a visibly bloodied man is wheeled in on a hospital bed. The army says that these men were foreigners, one of them Thai, the other Nepalese, likely southern Israeli farm workers. Men, women, children, babies, babies, hostage. Hamas wages war from hospital, wages terror from hospital. Hamas was building terror tunnels underneath Shifa Hospital. By now, the truth is clear. <clears throat> On Sunday, we got to see the first stretch of tunnel, 60 yards long, 10 meters below the hospital. It includes a staircase a blast-proof door, and a firing hole that could be used by snipers to block Israeli forces from entering. The tunnel shaft is in a section of the complex where a vehicle was found last week filled with weapons. The Israeli army also says it has ironclad proof. 19-year-old uh, year old Corporal Noah Marciano, who we discovered was murdered last week, was in fact murdered at the hospital. The Palestinian Authority is now denying Hamas carried out the massacre at the Nova Music Festival on October 7th. The PA claims, despite video from terrorist phones, and remember they were wearing GoPro cameras as well, that Israeli helicopters murdered over 360 people in cold blood. Sean Emma, Prime Minister Netanyahu called that. His words were utterly preposterous and promised whoever controls Gaza next won't encourage children to become terrorists whose ultimate goal in life is the destruction of Israel. John, Emma, back to you. Daniel Cohen joining us live with details. Daniel, thank you. Good to see you.